Hi guys, welcome back to Unbox Anything. Today we'll be having a look at the pros and the cons of the BDV E21000. This is the Sony, um, it's like a DVD, home theatre, stuff like that. It comes with Blu-ray so you can watch all your DVDs in here. It also comes with a home theatre so you've got a speaker there. You've got another speakers there. So first pro I'm just like to talk about, it does come with a lot of speakers. You've got your speaker, that one, you get that one, you get that one. Um, you get that one as well, then you also get that one. So as you can see it does come with a few um, speakers which is great, um, I mean by few I mean quite a lot of speakers so that's the first pro. The speakers are really good, um, I'll go ahead and show you some of the music, I, I'll play some music for you. I've also had it for two years but the look at it, the material they made it out of is quite good because it doesn't look like it's got any scratches or anything and if it's dirty or anything you can just wipe it and everything just goes off which is great so it's easy to clean as well the um, the the um, home theater itself and the speakers themselves are easy to clean um, it does come with an HDMI cable which is great so just um, there we go so you don't get any of this car you know the old way you could connect TV to a DVD you don't get that so you just have to use your HDMI connecting your TV which is great then onto the screen now we're gonna look at some of the pros on here so some of the pros is that it, it's like a smart DVD so you get everything it comes with does come with internet so you get all the BBC spot and most importantly you get YouTube and you get Netflix where is Netflix 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 um, it's somewhere around here yeah so that's great I mean seriously you don't need a smart TV if you've got this basically because I've got a smart TV but I normally don't use it but a con is that these apps are great but they are quite slow compared to how quick your smart TV apps will be so if you want to come to YouTube we'll actually go to YouTube because I'm gonna need to play some music for you over there so if I was to come to YouTube you would have to do that you know it has to do that all the time so it has to do authenticating and then three and then sometimes it takes longer than it should and it has to do it all the time so that's something you keep in mind that's a con that obviously you have to remember so once it's done it doesn't take really long but it's just that it gets boring obviously to do it all the time once you turn the TV once you turn the DVD off and turn it back on that will happen that will always come up the internet is slow on the on here as well but not too slow it's something you can cope with but um, it's a bit slow so just keep that in mind as well it's not really the fastest internet you have so you can see it's still loading taking ages but once it's loaded in once it's loaded everything's um, HD so you watch HD everything on here that's great so that's a pro that I would say you will not be watching anything low quality so um, so here we are guys we're finally on YouTube another thing I would not that con for me is the remote the remote is great and it's lasted a few years now which is great because I've had the DVD for two years but the remote's been fine. Just one issue is that the remote buttons are quite hard guys. It's very hard. You know the issue is not anything. The issue comes mainly when you're trying to, let's say you're trying to search something on YouTube here and you're trying to press all the different buttons and stuff. It gets really, okay, it, it gets tiring. So lucky enough, I've already used this bike right in the other video when I did this um, two year review. So I'll just click here instead of typing. But if I were to type, it was going to be so hard that like the buttons are so hard on this. But that's something you don't have to really worry about. But just a heads up if you're going to buy the DVD. Okay, so here we go. So I'll just play some audio for you on here, just so you can listen. So I just want to point out that the sound is excellent, guys. The sound is so good. And that's a pro you have to look out for you. So you don't have to worry about the speakers. These speakers are the best. The speakers are great. So you don't have to worry about that. Another thing is that they, it does come with extremely long wires. So this, the wires to the speakers are long. So you can spread them around. I mean, see how long they are. So that one goes all the way there. There is a speaker. Then there's one there at the top, so the wires just spread around because they're quite, quite long. So you don't have to worry about making the wires longer or buying extra wires, that would be fine. And I've not had an issue with the wires in the last three years. But anyway, we'll go ahead and listen to the sound. So here we go. I'll not put it up uh, maximum because neighbours, <laughs> you know, I don't want my neighbours to kick me out. They always arguing about me playing loud music. Okay, so here we go. We're going to play some sound.
so I just had to cut that down so on here on the DVD itself you do have a tiny menu there that shows you everything so once you use the remote if you're turning up the volume it will come here sometimes it does come on the TV but that's if you're watching the TV will show you the volume on there going up and down but if you're on the YouTube app it won't show it but if you're on TV normal TV will show you that obviously you're using the volume is up and down on there on the TV as well if you're using normal TV but now it won't show but yeah, as you can see the quality is absolutely good obviously just the blue red background and stuff um, yeah um, the other pro is that the DVD is quite easy to use so you've got just the eject you've got the play stop volume up and then volume down so you can stop there I just stopped that by accident so yeah once I stopped it it just went back to YouTube so in case you don't have your remote you can be able to stop it on there so there we go so yeah um, that's great so YouTube will be absolutely good so I'll just try to go in Netflix so you just have to click home another con that I'd like to point out is that it does work slow so if you click the buttons they don't respond as quickly as possible that's just something that you have to so you have to be patient with it I mean it's just a DVD really it's a smart DVD if that's DVD player if that's the word so you don't expect it to really be smart when it comes to um, reacting to you so be patient um, another thing to keep out is that you should always constantly change the batteries I don't know if it's my batteries but these batteries tend to run out really quickly yeah so just remember that if the batteries if it's not working the batteries are probably out because they really run out really quickly compared to other products or any remotes which is weird so yeah here we go you get the old Netflix I probably should have Date it because that's the old one the new one's more red and black background so you can see that it's taking a bit longer than when you normally open Netflix but yeah so just a heads up you should expect that don't think there's something wrong with your TV or your internet that's been like that since I bought it because I bought it brand new so a brand new one of these can go for about 200 yeah 200 270 around there so yeah um, here you can be able to sign in and you can just use the buttons here to move up and down and stuff like that um, you get used to this at first it feels like a struggle especially because the buttons are really hard to press but once you get used to it and once you've logged in everything should be fine so I can't really log into Netflix because there's no point it would just um, I'm not it's not like I'm gonna play any video because of copyright and stuff but yeah you, can, you get the idea so yeah it's easy to use so you have a few other features so you can connect the music on here by bluetooth you also have the radio um you get the um you get music there so you can put your you you can put a device or bluetooth or or you can search music there and you can put some photos on here or if you put a usb and stuff like that um here we go and here you've got your bluetooth to set up you can also set up your audio which is great so you can decide how you want it to sound and the bass and stuff like that no not there sorry you have to do it in settings that's just normal audio so in settings audio settings there we go um, so here you get to change all the stuff so you get to increase whatever you want to increase and you get a lot of stuff you also get parental controls which is great so if you have kids you can just put some locks on there on some apps so kids can't open them it's basically like a smart DVD um, it's really good for its price. I mean you'd expect this thing to be really quite expensive But for its price, you know, and what you get out of it is great So yeah, those are some of the features you get on it which are great and you can also get an update Which I actually need to do but it's probably gonna ask me to connect on the internet and blah 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 Oh, it's already updated. So that's great. So yeah, that's already up to date But you can update it basically network update over there Yeah, and then you also get your screen settings, which is oh, one second so right here we've got some screen settings there you go yeah you get your 3d cinema whatever everything you want to do you can have a look through i mean i'm not a big take on stuff like that i just you always use default settings but if you want to change it around you do get that option so there's a lot of pros than the cons really obviously you get your radio there and a lot of stuff basically so there's a lot to look up to also I forgot about this you can google anything so here you've got your internet browser which is a drag obviously it takes ages and it's you have to use this to type so it's not really something to look up to look forward to but I mean seriously you can if you wanna watch a film on one of them illegal websites because you like doing illegal stuff then you can watch it on here 
on your TV, so you don't have to worry about viruses going on your laptop, which is a lot better. So there it says press options, um, something like that, something like that. But yeah, you get the idea anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. So those were some of the pros and the cons of the BDV E21000. And I'll see you next time. Take care.